Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about CSS filters. CSS filters allow you to apply some filters on your images, uh, like Photoshop and like some other social media like Snapchat and all that cool stuff. Uh, it's not going to allow you to provide emojis, <laughs> filters like uh, increase the grayscale, decrease the contrast, increase the opacity, provide sepia, all of that cool stuff. So we have an image here, somewhere that JPEG. I'm going to grab that image and I'm going to say height is going to be 600 pixels. Width is going to be 600 pixels. Is that, I'm going to go 800. Do we have that? No. I'm going to do 700. There we go. So you can see that the image is being shrunk. So I'm going to say object fit fit the object now the cool thing about this uh, this property is not only it fits images inline images inline images refer to the images which are in the html file background images refer to the images which are in the css file it not only fits uh or uh, preserves the aspect ratio of images but also videos inline videos that you want to provide we have talked about the video tag the video element you can do you can use that uh, object fit on a video as well in case the video is disproportionate or stretched or squeezed you can just uh use it on that as well so let's do the filter so we're going to say filter there is a lot of stuff here, but I'm just going to go over the simplest ones. So first we have the blur, which is going to blur out, not blue, blur out any image. So uh, you can provide a degree in pixels, like 10 pixels blur out. You can see it's blurred out. You can provide it to one pixel. It's a little bit blurred out. There are some like 100 or like 100. It's You can see you can practically see that. So this is going to provide a blur effect. The next value is going to be brightness. It's going to increase the brightness of an image. Let's say you want to set it to 50%. It's going to decrease it. You can set it to 100% or 1000%. There we go. So these values, they're the different. You can provide pixels. You can provide percentages. Uh, I believe 100% is the default one. So you can say um, 5%. Very dark, right? Barely seeing that. You can grayscale it, so it's grayscale, let's say, by 50%. You don't want to go all old school, just 50%. So it's 50% grayscale. If you just put it to uh, 0%, it's going to be 100%. There we go. It's going to be completely grayed out. And, um, okay, let's move on. I'm going to say filter. Uh, contrast, you can change the contrast of an image. So you can set it to 110%. That's the contrast. Let's set it to 1100. So you can see the changes. You can change it to 10 as well. So this is basically the contrast of the image. Filter. You can also change the opacity. So the third possible way to change opacity is using the opacity function inside the filter property. Uh, so you can change it to 0 0.8. You can change it to 0 0.1. The ideology is the same. So if you lower it, uh, if you lower the number, you're going to lower the uh, you are, if you lower the number, you're going to lower you're going <laughs> to I'm going to reiterate this. When you lower the number, you're going to increase the transparency. There we go. We have saturation. You can saturate it to 150 pixels uh, percent. This is highly saturated, 1500. So this is what saturation means. And finally, my favorite, sepia, which is giving it like an old school kind of vibe, like once upon in a Hollywood vibe. So it's like that sort of a vibe. With this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.